Hi everyone, RiseGeek back here with another video and um, before we get into the main video I'm just going to do a quick uh, pop update so I think I've got three uh, new pops since we did the last unboxing uh, the reason there wasn't a video for these ones is because they arrived at a time where I wasn't actually free to do a video but um, yeah we have uh, Yon Rog which is uh, the guy from the Captain Marvel film obviously um, played by Jude Law I think, yep that's right uh, this I just got because it was basically like 4 quid on Amazon so I thought why not add to the collection and the other two I got from Frog Bros because uh, I had the A train remember last time from Pop in a Box and while visiting uh, Frog Bros I while while going to visit Frog Bros for the click and collect of course uh, I saw that he had these in so I had got a Starlight and uh, which is cool but more importantly I have this one which I really like is the Translucent which is literally Translucent really cool and I do still have a Homelander and a Billy Butcher arriving at some point. Um, not sure when that is. Uh, yeah. Oh, might as well as a as a bonus. I also got the Monster Hunter Rise uh, Collector's Edition, which was actually a problem to get hold of because Amazon, uh, despite me pre-ordering Amazon, sold out of it before it even came out. Uh, so I wasn't going to get it. But then luckily, um, a local game shop called Gamers had one coming in, so I was able to get that. So yeah, that's cool. And I really really liking this game. Um, let's, uh, let's go with the actual video then. So yes, today's unboxing is something very different because this is a complete mystery to me because it has been sent to me by uh, Louis, who you may know from the, on this channel as doing the Yu-Gi-Oh unboxings with me. The, uh, it is like fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards we got off the internet, I think from like Aliexpress and Wish.com. So those actually sounded quite good. Uh, he also has his own channel, he has two channels actually, I think he had, um, Broken Spring, which is like a, a card unboxing channel, and then he also has his uh, tarot reading channel. I'll, uh, there'll be links below the video if you want to check him out. But anyway, yeah, he just messaged me yesterday saying he saw this uh, thought of me. Um, so, yeah, it's a gift basically from Louis. Um, I don't know what's in it. It's fairly heavy. Um, and we are going to open it and find what it is. I will admit, this is hard to do one handed. Um, I'll admit when he first said that I was expecting to do something a bit dodgy. <laughs> As in not not like illegal, but like um like like a joke thing. But then I thought I will I will say to him I hope it's nothing that's gonna get me in trouble with the missus. Um Yeah, I, I think we I think I'm safe. I really should have planned this better. Ugh. I need to set up my proper camera again, because this is a bit grill. <laughs> Oh, well, I mentioned he did Yu Gi Oh boxes with me, and lo and behold, right, wow, okay, um, well, <laughs> mystery solved. What it is, it's, it's the uh, Battle City uh, collection of the Speed Duel Yu Gi Oh cards. Um, if you don't know, the Speed Duel is like the sort of Sort of spin off game mode. Um, so there's the standard Yu Gi Oh cards, but there's also the speed duel ones, which are like built as the name suggests to be just quicker games that like, doesn't drag on and on. And um, there's certain certain new rules and then a lack of the more complicated rules from the main game, which have been added over the years. And as far as I'm aware, every deck of the speed duel um, cards usually is based around a character. Like uh, I already have the. So the first one of them, so I had the Yugi, Pegasus, Joey, I think it was. I, I can't fully remember which ones it was now, but I do have the first sort of run of them. But this one, I believe, has, um, what's well, it just says right there? Eight complete Rage Play decks. There's eight decks in here. Um, the decks are a lot smaller than um, the uh, standard game ones. I think it's 40, is it 40 cards, right, for the standard game? I think these are 20, I think. Um... Let's see what it says in the back. Um, okay, so oh yeah, we'll say that the reason I think he said that he saw less than for me is because even with the the main game, I tend to um, prefer to collect sets that are based on the original show. Um, I do I do like the game in general, but I'm always more fond of the original the cast from the original Yu-Gi-Oh series, um, which is why this is got perfect for me. Um, yeah, so yeah, anything like this, I'm, I'm definitely all over it. Um, 
So yeah, so it contains eight decks uh, relive Epic Jewels from Battle City. So I'm going to guess this is the eight decks of the eight finalists from Battle City. That's really explain the Egyptian God cards anyway. Um, so yes, we have... It doesn't actually tell us what the what decks are, so I'm actually going to have to open this. Well, I'm going to open it anyway, but... You can see Jinzo there, so that's a, I mean, that was definitely a Battle City card. Uh, that is Black Luster. No, that's, no, who's that? That's, I'm showing my age now. I don't even know what the characters are called anymore. Is that Magician of Black Chaos? Please tell me right. Or one of Dark Magicians, either way. Um, yeah. Right, I'm going to open this now because I just want to see what's in it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Louis. Already, I have known nobody here, but thank you, Louis. Yeah, plastic stuff. Uh, while I was pausing filming and just get the plastic off, um, I actually had to message you and just say thank you so much for this. So, ooh, okay, okay, it's kind of, what's that move? So, ah, okay, so it's all like compartmentalized, but, um, so these are the game mats. I'll, uh, get this out at the end, I think, to, uh, show this like. Oh, these are, these are kept separate. Ooh. I mean, this is going to be really awkward to film one-handed. I feel this is this causes for a special case of getting the camera out because it's gonna take me a while to get the camera set up. But I mean, this is something special. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Be right back. Okay, so long story short, the <laughs> camera is not happening. So uh, also, there's a lot of cards here, so we're not gonna go through all of them. Uh, at least not now. We may do that in another video later on when I get to meet up with Louis again and we can both go through it and maybe even play a duel with one of the decks. I'll also show you here, um, I looked at the playmats and one side has the typical game board you're thinking of, the other side has the rules as well as the decks that you can build uh, from this set because they do not come, as you probably saw when I opened the box, in the set decks. They are all kind of mixed up, which is a bit annoying really. I would have liked to have them as set decks. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of cards to go through here, so what I thought instead I'd do is, uh, oh, it, also, yeah, the, the game mats, I, because there's, uh, three, there's four game mats, so there's, like, four, ba four battles of eight, because eight, there's eight decks, so, eight complete ready to play decks, so there's four mats, so that every game have at the same time. The first map, map I opened was the, uh, Yugi Kaiba one, so I assumed that the other ones would have the other characters on, no, they're all the same, it's a bit disappointing, but... Oh well, looking at so what instead of anyway, I'm rambling now. Instead of going through all the cards, I thought I'd go through the ones that stuck out to me, um, like the monsters mainly really, uh, that stuck out to me, and then we will uh, go through the character cards because there's something a bit weird in that, and then we'll open the packet of the uh, the special shiny ones. Uh, um, and first off, though, we'll go through the cards that I said that stuck out to me, and um, I made a bit of an ass of myself because I. Pointed to a character on the box. The other box isn't. I don't want to move. Uh, yes, this one. And I said it was the kind of. Uh, I said it was. I said it was a few things, but I was wrong on every account. Um, and I apologise for that. Uh, it is not a. What well, is a kind of a dark magician? No, I think I said it was. I don't know what I said it was now, but I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. It was, of course. The Dark Paladin, um, who is a combination of the Buster Blader and Dark Magician. So I was, I was right. It was a, was a kind of um, Dark Magician. Um, so yeah, that one. Um, Dark Magician, of course, classic card. Yugi's uh, favorite card in the anime. Uh, Bloodshot Dragon, of course, this is rival Kaiba's favorite card. Source Dogger. The reason this one is a card that's always like stuck out to me is because there's a game on PS2 called Draws to the Roses. Which is a fantastic Yu-Gi-Oh game that doesn't really follow any of the rules of the anime or the actual card game because you move the cards around like a board, um, and also it follows the Battle of the Roses near the Tudor and Tudor House and that stuff of the English history. Yeah, I know it. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh game. If you haven't played it, try and find it on emulator because it's really worth playing. Um, but. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. In that game, Sword Stalk is so overpowered because it basically can power up for every um, monster uh, in uh, the graveyard. I believe it's what it does. 
and it just so overpowered. If you can get this card in that game, you pretty much won the game straight away. It really is that good. Um, Jinzo, I remember the box. It did say that Jinzo would uh, um, was in the box. So yeah. That's it. So these are the ones that kind of stuck out to me as some favourites from from the box. We will now look at the uh, character cards, which are like are called skill cards in Speed Jewels. Um, again, these aren't these things aren't not in the actual main game Yu-Gi-Oh card game because um, they're not necessary. But in the Speed version, uh, you pick a character card, which is basically who you're playing as. And each one has a skill that will give you a bonus um, to be used at some point in in the game. Um, so let me just find those. Right, so the character cards. Um, Yami Yugi, of course. Uh, there's a few of him. We won't bother going through the skills. Just going through the what we have here: Kaiba, Marek, all ones you would expect for the uh, Battle City tournament sort of character cards. The reason I'm doing this is because the last one I just can't remember who it is. And I'm, I'm hoping it's not just me, but um, anyway. Esperoba, two for him. Odeon, and the Kyber one, I've mixed, the, <laughs> mixed them up with. Uh, Umbra and Loomis, yep. Arcana, Arcana, Arcana. And the Odeon, my Valentine, Joey Wheeler, Shizu, Taya, really? <laughs> uh, she's a main character in the show, kind of, so. Yeah, but she's terrible in the game. Yeah. Christine. Um, now, I don't really remember who this is, I, but I do kind of think she was in the show. I kind of remember that there was a character. I wouldn't know that was her name, but yeah. Emma. Again, I'm pretty sure I recognise the little girl character. I don't remember why I remember her. Whether she actually is in the show, but I'm pretty sure she is. I just don't know where about she appears. I think she's no, I, can't, I don't know. I don't know why she's there, but I know she's there for a reason. Uh, here you are, Andrew. Um, I, I don't know who the hell this is. I do not remember. I need to rewatch that series because I don't remember who Andrew is. Anyone got an idea who Andrew is? No? And again, the case of the last one, because this is what I saw first, the last one, uh, David. Uh, he, he, I don't know who that is. He reminds me of a character, but, but I don't know... From the show or from that Duel Links game, but uh, yeah, I honestly don't remember who that is. Was he even in the series at all? Yes. Right. Let's get on to doing the um, the good, the cool bit, the opening the shinies. Uh, that should be fun. Uh, do I need to put the camera down to open this pack? Or can I do it one-handed? I think I can do it one-handed. And he's done it. We know it's the good causes, but what else is in here? Right, so yep, Slifer. I think design wise, my favourite of the good cards. Obelisk. Probably my least favourite design wise. Just because it's a big blue guy with a tiny head. Uh, the Winged Dragon Ra. This sort of in the show OP as hell in the game card game not so not as much. Kinda of goes for every single <laughs> card though in the uh, show. Uh Valhalla Hall of the Fallen. I love my Viking stuff, so that's always appreciated. Jin oh another Jinzo, this time a uh, shiny one. Perfect. Cosmic Cyclone. Metaverse. That's pretty cool. And a shiny dark magician. I mean Oh, for this one, I will say, um, if you're gonna give me a shiny jump edition, you'd better give me a shiny uh, blue eyes or dragon. And you didn't. That's just nitpicking though. This, this is an amazing set. Seriously, I mean, just the the fact that there's god cards in speed dueling now that is amazing. Really, um, I need to go to actually. I need to read these effects on these cards. They can't be the same now that the game's changed. Surely, um, but. Uh, yeah, I hope that it won't take us long to actually get around to doing a video with Louis where we go through the cards a bit more in depth and do a, a at least one duel with some of the decks in this set. But um, yeah, big thank you to Louis if you're watching out there. Uh, thank you for this random present you sent me, which is amazing. Um, yeah, really, really appreciated. Um, yeah, and I hope to see the rest of you for another unboxing video soon because... Um, I'm enjoying making these and I want to get back into doing more and I remember saying that now that 
the lockdown was easing off and the kids are going back to school, I'd have more time. And then of course, Easter uh, half term happened and uh, suddenly the kids are back and uh, I have lots of less free time again and uh, it's getting rather hot out and uh, I can't handle that. <laughs> so now at least I can stay inside and uh, just stare at some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah.